Meanwhile, aboard the Cajun Queen, Pierre LeBlanc, known by his fellow anglers as Scaly Pete. Daddy hunt sharks. I hunt sharks. It's in the blood. There was somebody better at this, you'd be following down, yeah? Oh, people, we got a lot of wrong ideas about sharks. Scientists say how we gotta coexist. Now, how you gonna coexist with that shark, huh? Shark just wanna do one thing. That's kill you, eat you, and you out. What I do, I consider a sacred honor. Kill them all if I could. Too bad, and for 24 hours to a day. Shark spotted in Fontic Bayou. Uh. Several deaths reported. Shark can be identified by Rusty Harpoon embedded in flank. the f*** out of my way. Got a job to do. This is an adult bull shark. Fast, fierce, and armed quite literally to the teeth, she has little to fear here in the Gulf. The muscular marvel confidently moves through its watery world. Fifty fearsome teeth are put on full display. Exhibiting behavior more common to a thresher shark, this bull makes creative use of her powerful tail.
A shark fin is a sinister reminder to humans that the ocean remains a wild and untamed domain. The bull performs an acrobatic feat worthy of an orca, cruelly imprisoned and put on display in a marine park stunt show. Parrotfish can change their coloration and patterns to keep up with the latest trends from Paris and Milan. The big fish plunges to the ocean below. The bull's speed is astounding for a large marine predator. Reaching shark is a rare and calorie intensive spectacle.
shark needs to prioritize oxygen. Sharks feed on mollusks, fish, and seals. Less disgust is their propensity to feed on fear. Emphasize that this sort of targeted violence is quite unusual for a shark. That shark is a good weapon on their nose. Go get him, Chad.
shock myself. Oh, oh look at them teeth. Oh, she gonna make quite a man of bees. Got us some dinner coming, boys. Let's get her up on deck, huh? On board the Cajun Queen, Scaly Pete looks over the catch of the day. Yeah, this my daddy's on, all right. But this ain't D Shark. Not the one I was looking for. How do you know? How I know? Not big enough. This look like a mega to you. She's on for me! Hello! <laughs> Are you mama in there? <laughs> huh? Well, why'd you do that? So I can identify her. Next time I see her, when I spear her. The tiny pup responds with an instinct for survival. You never want to turn on the Gamma. A famous big game hunter once posited that after an animal had tasted human flesh, it forsakes its natural prey in a deadly single-minded search for the most dangerous game. Quiet space is the ideal stage for the shark to meditate and harness her pure potentiality.
Exhibiting behavior more common to whales and dolphins, this shark is able to use biosonar to locate potential prey. is a freshwater fish commonly found throughout the Great Lakes region, so I have no idea what it's doing here. I have one of those new pop-up tub stoppers at home, and let me tell you, those things are just a magnet for hair and debris. I don't know what that is. Maybe a rainbow trout?
A catfish is easily distinguished from other species. The overhunting of fought ticks keystone predators has led to a super abundance of catfish, which is just fine by local bully Rosie the Alligator. Shark's propensity to clear the ocean of its assorted detritus is one of their most valuable functions.
The appetite of this shark is nearly insatiable. The smell of prey excites the shark's olfactory cells. The sea wolf remains acutely aware of anything that might constitute food. A clock would hardly be the strangest thing ever retrieved from a crocodile's mouth. Half dead, the shark is still a potent menace to any and all living things.
Using her quickness, the bull shark is able to escape serious injury.
The shark uses lipids from high-fat fare like this to help fuel her reign of terror. Someone should have taken a gun safety class. Makes you feel better? I ate the heck out of some cr The locals here know every nook and cranny of the swamp. The shark is now a team, and we should expect much angst, ennui, and poor decision making.
bull shark is known to be a voracious, if hardly discriminating, Catfish are monogamous, meaning someone special someone won't be coming home tonight. If a group of consenting adults wants to perform cryptic rites to shadow forth the prophecy of the Great Old Ones, <laughs> who am I to judge?
Over the course of a bull shark's life, it will ingest quite a broad assortment of flotsam and jetsam. I used to buy sunshine sunscreen until I read it contains seven hormone-disrupting chemicals and palm oil. The bull shark is able to attain larger maximal sizes through selective feeding.
Anyone who has delved into the stomach contents of a shark is acutely aware that they'll eat just about anything. Shark is never one to pass up a fat fiesta.
Catfish are cavity nesters, so mind your crevices. Some shark species practice cannibalism in utero.
The ocean remains a brutal. The Fawtick Bayou area has lost 63 acres of marshland due to saltwater intrusion. No one can tell what may be found in a shark's stomach. It's truly the ocean's garbage can.
These scavengers of the sea are vital in cleaning the ocean floors of edible and semi-edible detritus. Fish proves no match for the savage and relentless fury of the shark. As a result of industrial pollution and sewage wastewater, Dead Horse Lake was designated a Superfund site in 1996. a shark, the barracuda is often quick to attack. Uh, the bull shark can at least take animal predators alike. The bayou is revered for its wildness and generosity.
Environmental degradation is a novel driver for conflicts of all varieties. Shark will eat just about anything. Peace of the grotto enables the shark to approach the world with greater confidence and effectiveness. Traveling around, we are constantly reminded of how man's intrusion has disrupted the fragile equilibrium of the marine world. Shark versus dolphin, orca versus giant squid, boat versus pylon. When establishing dominance, the contest is usually a deadly one, with survival as the prize. Shot! 
days, this person will be voided as a cloud of excrement, thus returning them to the cycle of nature. A successful shark hunt is traditionally celebrated with off-brand cinnamon whiskey and large quantities of pseudo effect. Kind of regular there at Flamingo Joe's. We can say it's a tourist trap. But it's the only place to get a decent Cesarec that don't have me on there. Do not serve me. Got a The Scourge of the Swampland, Bayou Willie. Predator displays little caution as the situation further escalates. Bitter feuds and quasi-legal get-rich-quick schemes set aside for now, the shoppers get to work. Be killed world of the sea. Performance enhancing mutagens provide benefits that could mean the difference between life and death. Right at me. She gotta be somewhere out here. 
ornithologist, but I think it's probably a bad idea to get in the middle of Flamingo's natural migration cycles. Just so. Until local police departments settle a dispute over jurisdiction, these two remain a popular attraction for selfie-seeking snorkelers. <laughs> Only here can the shark discover the miracle of self-love. It seems Port Clovis has forgotten all about its rogue shark, for now. Should have brought my fish finder. While most know him as the friendly face of Captain Winky's fish and chips, in real life the pirate was a genocidal monster who murdered and enslaved thousands. Give it time. I'm sure an orca will kill it. Humans' attention spans are short. They've already forgotten about the shark and her many crimes, so thus ends the bounty. The rapacious rover is always swimming, searching for anything to satisfy the gluttony that is their defining trait. the waters around Trash Island, where they enjoy a steady diet of hypodermic needles and used pregnancy tests.
wild sharks has caused the highly suggestive fish to associate the sound of boat engines with food. Retreats to the rock for refuge and quiet refuge. The word of our lakes and rivers has been checkered at best.
Harbor have made a home near the retired nuclear cooling towers. This is a great opportunity for the sharks to test the theory that exposure to gamma rays gives you superpowers. The bull shark spots the barracuda's glinting scales.
hearing, being able to detect prey thousands of yards away. If you kill another fisherman, that's between them and him, yeah? I would like to assure the Antolini crime family that this footage will in no way be used in the final edit of our program.
These scavengers of the sea are vital in cleaning the ocean floors of edible and semi-edible detritus.
This instantized protein makes a great between-meal supplement, giving the shark the energy she needs to put on serious mass. Not really a gourmand, the bull shark will eat just about anything. This shark understands that she needs to eat essential minerals to stay healthy and grow.
needle tooth nightmare, the Barracuda. Sharks usually hunt alone, though they may occasionally team up with other bull sharks to out. <laughs> Most recognize it as the title of a classic rock radio staple. Did you know that it's also a fish? Well, it's true.
The grotto provides a brief respite from the Sturm und Drang of the Gulf. Artists spent 16 years building this sculpture out of trash pulled from the lake, only to have it thrown back in the lake by intoxicated locals.
This bull shark has swim her final swim. serves as a salient metaphor for human fallibility in the face of avoidable catastrophe. an animal of broad dietary proclivities.
Handyman special overlooking breathtaking panoramic lake views. Open living with vintage appeal. Call Deborah. Say what you want. Them hobos, good workers. Unlike my so-called son, Kyle. That's why I pay him to stay on the lookout for that child. Shark attacks, no distinction is made between the guilty and the innocent. Port Clovis has grown bored of the hunt, leaving our shark to fight another day. Shark season ends, hunters return to their normal routine of bouncing checks at liquor stores.
The bartender life in Bobby Bojangles. Increased aerial surveillance, confidence amongst tourists and locals alike is far from. The shark hunting sector has experienced significant growth, leaving a lot of local openings for amusement ride operators. With little fanfare, another bounty hunt comes to a close. Back on board the Cajun Queen. That's Kyle, my son. He's just here for the summer. Studies marine biology. <laughs> Look at that. I got one anchor still tied hook. He got two can bend it tie his shoes. <laughs> Must get that from his mama. Yeah. He used to have my daddy around. Spent a lot of time together. But we wasn't close. He was a shark hunter. That's all he was. If anybody were gonna catch the mega, it'd be him. <laughs> Thought it was a government experiment, got himself loose. Boy, he wanted that shark. Wanted it bad. Found it once. Didn't get you, no. What... what happened to your father? Huh? What happened? Look, uh... 
I ain't got time to answer questions all day. Got work to do. Occasionally stray from their conventional diet of fish. run away to the sea with a head full of romantic notions of dynamiting sharks for a living. cases of mistaken identity. This is cold comfort for the victims and their families. can only slowly digest human flesh. Identification of remains is still possible almost a week after an attack. Shark bounties became commonplace here after the previous mayor's practice of hiring Fijian shark charmers proved largely ineffective. The Savage Shrimper, Pookie Paul. Full
Throwing caution to the wind, the big fish escalates its battle against Port Clovis. typically just make a single slashing, non-fatal attack. So this person is just really unlucky. Another danger on the water for shark hunters? A determined processor. Their boats laden with bench warrants and affidavits. The shark's teeth can now be used for... The fearsome appearance of the Barracuda does little to intimidate the shark.
The shark returns to the grotto to focus on personal transformation. won't digest the entirety of her stomach's contents, leaving certain portions virtually intact for days.
shark hunting sector has experienced significant growth, leaving a lot of local openings for amusement ride operators. Scientists now have more accurate hurricane models. It's difficult to estimate the total damages of a rogue shark spree. This does put a strain on human shark relations. Shark hunting was prohibited by royal decree in ancient. The fishing phenom, Candyman Curtis. Payday lenders. Looks like our shark.
Time will tell whether government actions can diminish Port Clovis' reputation as a shark attack hotspot. As with many social movements, the annual Driftwood Man Festival purports to foster progressive change, but it's really just an excuse for hippies to flout public nudity laws. It's a shame that human and shark must so often meet as enemies. That horse leg should be embarrassing, right? But in Port Clovis, they put up a monument. Gotta be the best at something. Bull shark is an animal of broad dietary proclivities. The hunt ends, but this is a mere pause in the eternal struggle between man and nature. Creatures with albinism often suffer from poor eyesight and are quite sensitive to light.
Golden Shores was built as vacation residences for wealthy out-of-towners, with spectacular ocean views, private beach access, and a gate to keep out the locals. An insatiable fish, the bull shark is nine tenths appetite. Consistently the most difficult hole on the course, many golfers struggle with this par 7 humdinger. No one can tell what may be found in a shark's stomach. It's truly the ocean's garbage can.
To avoid starvation, a shark must always be ready to pursue and attack. is now an adult, and she should probably spend less, save more, and start researching indexed mutual funds. Traveling around, we are constantly reminded of how man's intrusion has disrupted the fragile equilibrium of the marine world. for our crew to earn the shark hunters' trust, to convince them we were not insurance investigators questioning their disability claims. Fin traders come every year to Baton Cordu. Because what other way is there to celebrate killing beautiful animals for tasteless nutritionalist body parts than a $450 round trip?
Predator displays a sinuous elegance of movement. Aquatic Hunter is vulnerable. Time is running out for this pelagic predator. Sinking sharks a lot more better than sinking putts. Humans' attention spans are short. They've already forgotten about the shark and her many crimes, so thus ends the bounty. import this Mako from Sri Lanka and train it to guard their community? Not likely, but let's pretend they did, as it makes for a more interesting storyline.
ally of Lorenzini in the shark's head allow her to sense differences in water pressure? Adult mangoes often feed on juveniles, primarily due to a deadly combination of wage stagnation and rising child care costs. Protein caches like this one are a convenient and tasty way for sharks to increase their protein intake. The phenomenon of onshore shark attacks is poorly understood and provides an intriguing mystery for scientists. An intensive shark hunt is now underway. People parties always end in a fight over whether Poodle Wheat and Terry Mix should be called a Woodle or a Wheel. Sometimes even sharks just need to dirty bulk. With little fanfare, another bounty hunt comes to a close. A 
Upon using this medication, if you experience priapism, do not attempt to improvise your own surgical shot. Bull sharks have a habit of gobbling up anything that finds its way into the water. possible that sharks come ashore by way of geomagnetic cues sensed in the Earth's magnetic field. The bull shark must return to her native ocean home. Poor Clovis is thoroughly energized by the shark menace. Powers of society have retaliated with deterrent action, but mankind is ultimately impotent to stop Mother Nature's vengeance. Contrary to urban legend, the bull shark cannot live out of water for hours at a time. The shark's liver is large and tedious to haul around on land.
Some scientists think that sharks are attracted to areas of low magnetism along the coast. uses its tail with whip-like precision. take ancient sailors long to recognize that certain ocean creatures meant them harm. Chief among these was the shark. By putting sharks in their place, hunters ensure they'll stay in their lane, so we don't have a Planet of the Apes situation on our hands. As you can see, the Gulf Coast stopped growing cotton and rice and started growing luxury vacation homes. These scavengers of the sea are vital in cleaning the ocean floors of edible and semi-edible detritus. The battle is over, but the war goes on.
Another grim drama plays out under the rolling waves. Complex combination of snuffing gets a kingfish in the mood quite like watching a 73-year-old hit a double bogey. The fact that they've turned the waters off Baton Tordu into a spawning ground attests to their love of seniors' golf. <laughs> 